Morning, Ange. Morning there, Barn. Had a little trouble at Floyd's barber shop, but don't worry, I'm on it. <sighs> oh, did someone break his window again? I'm telling you, Ange, we got some real bad rascal kids in this town. <laughs> well, now look at this here pretty envelope. Holy cow! It's a letter from... Hello, Andy. I was at the Mount Pilot post office and couldn't help but notice I've been elevated to the rather prestigious list of Mayberry's ten most wanted. Does this mean that you're back on the case? If so, goody goody. Sincerely, Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter? And here I thought it was Ernest T. Bass up to his old tricks. Well, now, Barn, maybe I ought to have a look-see over at Floyd's. <laughs> A little more off the side there, Floyd. I got a church date with Helen. <laughs> you, you see, Dr. Lecter, he he came by wanting a shave, and but he, he gave me some poppers, and he made me cut off my face and feed it to my dog. Is, isn't, that the, isn't that right there, Scooter? Oh, I suppose Doc Lecter ain't got the best manners. He's just a little mixed up is all. I remember the first time I locked him up. Do you know what you look like to me? With your good bag and your cheap shoes. You look like a rube. You just gotta sit there and take that. Well, now, Barn, gotta give a fella a chance to speak his mind. Do you still hear the man? Do you still hear the lambs screaming? <laughs> now, Otis, I'd be right careful if I were you. That dog can be awful on me. Arm. Ah! Oh, I suppose I shouldn't have just let him go, but he did seem awful sorry for what he'd done. Oh, Andy! Andy, look what Gomer and I found hiding in the pickle patch! Surprise, surprise, surprise! Now, Aunt B, Gomer, I'm the one wearing the sheriff's badge! But, but, but Andy, he, he was gnawing on little Opie's skull! It done near disemboweled Thelma Lou till I put a stop to it. Sh shoot him, shoot him in the eye. <laughs> Andy, are you crazy? Andy, don't! Now, Doc Lecter, I'm gonna let you go, but you have to apologize and promise you'll walk straight out of Mayberry. Andy, I'm giving serious consideration to eating your Aunt B. What? <laughs> and! Din din, anyone. It's simply to die for. They call it. Brain food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Listen to that thing, Sue. Care for a nibble, Andy. Hands don't. Well, now, Doc, I'm just going to have to say no thanks. Shame for shame for shame on you, Andy. It's downright rude to refuse someone's cooking. Mmm, mmm, delicious. Time me up for seconds. <laughs> <laughs>